So hello everybody, in today's video we are going to go through the four different options that you get when you are going to create a new data flow in Power BI service. So I'm always confused by them. You are obviously too because you asked me to do this video, so let's get started. Let's figure this thing out. Okay guys, so when you try to create a new data flow in Power BI service, you are welcome with four options, four options, which is a little bit overwhelming. The language is a little bit technical, so that's why, for me at least, it's a little bit hard, and for some of you too, you told me that. So let's figure this thing out, shall we? Okay, so if you want to create a new data flow from scratch in Power BI service, what you need to do is to click the first button at the right. It says define new entities or add new entities. That's the one. So when you click in there, you will get the Power Query experience that you have in Power BI Desktop. Basically, you have the same menus and you go through the same steps. And then what you will do is you create a data flow that gets stored on an Azure data lake. It is either a shared data lake if you don't define your own, but you can define your own nowadays. Okay. So if you want to create a data flow from scratch, add new entities, the first button to the right, that's the one we to the left, that's the one that you choose, okay? Okay, the next option you have on those four menus is add linked entities. What is that? Well, here's the thing. If you click on the button add linked entities, you are going to see that the workspace that are on your tenant show up in the menu and the workspace that have a data flow show, not all the workspaces, so workspace with the data flow show, and they allow you to, you can pick data flows from different workspace and you can link them together. So you, let's say that you have customer data on a sales data flow and you have customer data on an HR data flow and you want to link those two together to create a, another customer data set. That's what you can do with linked entities. So you don't have to do the work all over again. You can just grab existing data flows and then link them. If you want to modify the linked entities on the new data flow, you have to do it on the master data flow. You cannot do it on the linked one, which is a good thing. So, you know, the things, everybody's using the same data basically. So linked entities, it just basically link different data flows on your workspace, on your tenant, okay? Okay, so the third option is called import model. And what it allows you to do, that in my opinion, this is more for admins or developers, and it allows you to move data sets within workspaces or between workspaces. So let's say that you have a, a production and uh, development stage in or workspaces in Power BI and you want to move this data set from production to development or vice versa. So in order to have, instead of having to go through all the M queries and all the entities and, and try to find everything and copy paste, you can actually go to the data flow and click export JSON and it will export a file with all the like ingredients of your data flow and then you can just go and import it in another workspace in a new workspace without having to copy paste everything so to me it's more an, an administration thing and it should probably be not so highlighted but it is in there so if you want to copy and paste the data flows that's a nice way to do it Okay, and the last option, it is create and attach a common data model folder. What is that? Okay, now, I've told you before that you can link things between workspaces in the same thing and you can copy things between workspaces. Well, this fourth and final option allows you to import data flows that have been created elsewhere. Somebody created them, for example, in a data factory or data bricks or whatever tool they've used. And you can export a JSON model that contains, again, the recipe. So you can just grab that JSON model and import it into data flow. So you don't have to recreate everything from scratch. So again, this is more like an admin thing or a developing thing. Everything is a developer thing, obviously, but from a self-service point of view, I guess that unless you are working on IT, the, the first one is the one that you would use, basically. So 
I have created a diagram of a business welcome screen for a data flow. So here you have it. So remember that every time you're going to create a new uh, data flow. So hopefully that will help you out. But in case of doubt, the first one to the left, that's the one to choose. Okay. So now I will see you again on Friday. We're going to wrap up the uh, remodel or remake of the live expectancy report. And we're going to do that slicer thing uh, in a different way that Microsoft did it. So that is a quite, actually quite a cool trick. So I hope you enjoy. I will see you on Friday. Until then, take care. Bye bye.